Elmina was built by the Portuguese around 1482, and Christian Borg Castle was built by Denmark around 1661. The question is, why did these Europeans come to Africa? They came here saying they were looking for gold, ivory, spices. But as time went on, the reason for coming to Africa shifted to needing people. What this same European said, they discovered the Americas. Discovering the Americas, they established sugarcane, tobacco, coffee, cotton plantations, that they needed people to work for them. They exploited the Red Indians, the natives of America. But these people died of European diseases like chickenpox, measles, influenza. To save the Red Indians from total extinction, a Roman Catholic priest by name Bartholomew of Las Casas suggested that Africans could replace the Red Indians. You're welcome. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jenny. When these Europeans came to Africa to get some of these Africans, unfortunately, they found us in the midst of war. Africans already divided among themselves in tribal wars. That we, were, we couldn't even come together, identify the enemies to go after them. When the Europeans came, they raided, they kidnapped. Yes, we had some Africans who were also raiders and kidnappers by profession. Example, we have the Fulani tribe. Yeah, they were raiding non-Muslims, exchanging them for guns, gunpowder, sugar fabrics from the Europeans. Raiding and kidnapping Africans did not fetch the Europeans the number of people they're looking for. So what they did, they sat down, they thought to themselves, mm, let's go to these local leaders. We talk to them, they are the custodians of the land. Okay, so we tell them that they're in the midst of war, but they're using inferior weapons like arrow, bow. We have guns, we have gunpowder. So all we need from them are the prisoners of war, criminals and people who are only in, in action for those things. Yet yeah, this request or this idea worked because slavery already existed in Ghana, in Africa. But slavery in here, according to indigenous slavery in Ghana, is more human compared to the transatlantic slave trade. Wherever these captives were captured, were marched on foot. Some were captured from places like Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Togo, Benin. They marched on foot to market places like Yendi, Salaga, Saint Manso. In a Saint Manso, we have a, a slave river where the slaves would take their last bath before they were brought into the castle. In here, straight to Palava Hall, the slaves or the enslaved were branded according to the names of the companies that bought them after Brandon. The males were brought here, the females into the female slave dungeons to wait for the ships to come get them to Europe, to the Americas, or to the New World. Yeah, meaning we have about 1,000 people in all the rooms put together. And being inside here, there wasn't anything like, I will ease myself and come. You did everything here. Yeah, we stand there on the original floor made with bricks. Shouldn't be, we should be on solidified human waste. Yeah, this place around 1974 went under excavation by some archaeological students from Ghana later on. They came to dig the floor for their research. It was after digging that discovered the flaws made with bricks. Before the student could touch the floor, you're welcome. Thank you. Before these archaeological students can touch the floor, yeah, we have these white markings. This one, one, there. Below the white markings, that was the level of the solidified human face. This one, this is wrapped to my ankle. Meaning, this passage was covered. Mm. Yeah, the student who died at the floor. Did not take everything away. The left portion of her. Does solidified human waste. Before 1974, the entire floor had this covering. 
There's a mixture of blood, tears, sweat, to urine feces, food particles, and any other thing uh, the enslaved Africans left behind. Needless to say, comparing this floor to the very first floor, there's something we've not seen. What is it? Thank you. Yeah, maybe we in town will solidify human waste. If we are to dig the five bricks beneath, because the castle was built with bricks around us. It was built with bricks, uh, oyster shells, lime powder, stone, sand, palm oil. One of the reasons for the Europeans' arrival in Africa, in God specifically, they say, was to spread the good news, who is Jesus Christ. And for that reason, they built churches. But among all the places the old kids could have chosen to build a church, they chose the Iwaka. Yeah, they chose no other place but on top of the dungeons. You know, in a castle, we have the Dutch Reformed Church on the female slave dungeon. There's a church in Osuka Castle, and right where we stand on top of this room was the SBG. Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, now the Anglican Church. And so while we have people dying in here, the Europeans claim to be worshiping Jesus Christ above. Why do you think they did that? The act of the curse pronounced on the Canaanite that they will be slaves upon slaves for their own brothers. When Ham saw the father's naked, the father Noah. Hebrew definition for ham uh, means hot, burnt, or black. And since Africans are black people, that these Europeans have to put all these things together and say, ah, Africans are the cursed people. Yeah, if they are cursed, anybody who is cursed is a sinner. The scripture says there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And if these Africans they not know Jesus Christ, that we're not in Jesus Christ, for that reason we can walk, condemn them to hell. Mm -hmm. So the church on top of a dungeon, this was hell and the church, heaven. Then the Europeans were the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Yes. yes. So these are the reasons they give us to hide and to justify. It doesn't make sense to me. Because the same scriptures they process for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of the living God. That there is not a single soul on this earth who is righteous. And Jesus did not come for the perfect people. And if he did, he would have died. Come for himself. Because he's the only perfect man. The ship came. The enslaved Africans did not go through the same door we came from. They had to go through an underground passage, which was here. At that time, the shrine wasn't here. All that was here was the entrance of the tunnel, where the slaves in chains and shackles and couples walked through to the door of no return. The passage was blocked around 1834 to mark the end of the slave trade. And that was led by Captain George this was a selection room where those who were weak were picked out from the healthy ones. There are some who were weak to the point that they couldn't see or walk. Those who were those broken were left in the corner of them to allow the strong ones go. After that, those who were sick were removed for them to wait for the next shipment, but without any medical attention. Your meaning, your survival depended on the immunity of your body, how strong your body was. If grace found you in time that he survived, we praise the right to the image of who Jesus Christ is. So for their actions and inactions up to date, there are some Africans who did not believe in the evidence of Jesus Christ to say, to give beauty for action, to say that everything works together for you if only you love me. So each time these Africans are in need, when the work is too much and their strength is gone, they may be part of the church, but they would not go to Jesus Christ. This is where they come for help. They come to the rock. So the castle has reserved seat 
for the worshipers of the rock. The money is somebody's offering for the worshipers. And there is a priest who is absent a need for intelligent African boys to be trained as priests. He was selected among them to go to England. In England, he was made to study theology. Uh, he came back to Africa at the age of 24. He became the first African Anglican priest. Uh, he was born in 1741, but died in 1816 at the age of 75. Philip Quilco was simply called Quilco a dream. That was his local name. But in England, the name Quilco was corrupted, changed from K to Q, and given the Christian name Philip after his baptism in England. Hello? Are you joining or were you asked to join the tour? You just want to walk around? Okay. Without any treatment. Why? Because they believed the blacks were so strong and that they could take anything without being killed. Okay. Good. Okay, we're seeing part of the underground passage. In the last room, I told us the slaves how to go through something, right? So they moved from that room in chains and in shackles. They walked underground past this end to the door of no return. Nobody could crisscross, nobody could go in, and nobody could come out. Why then do we have this opening? This was just an observatory for the soldiers to stand and watch the slaves move. Yeah, there are no steps, so please watch out. You want to have a look? Hmm. of the underground passage from the last room to the Zen. Right here, the enslaved Africans will go through the door of no return, which was here. But they blocked it because of the sea. The sea was coming here, distracting the whole thing. And they blocked this side, did not give up, uh, made another door of no return outside this room to continue the trade. They learned business. And one door closed, and made sure another one opened. Anything you want to say? 
What is it? I don't know. We see it. Okay. Don't freeze it. Uh, there are some enslaved women who act in like the wind. If they fought back, they said, you know, to say things like rape. If you resisted sexual abuse or you were this stubborn, you're brought here for two weeks maximum punishment. If we're here for more than two weeks and you're still not given, then they had to do something to subjugate you. What do they do? They let you carry some of the candy bars, the big ones. And you carry more than one of them in your hands. And you want to walk. As you walk with them, if any of the bones left your hands on the ground, that meant agreement to be raped. Consent. Mm. Yeah, meaning nobody is kept being raped because it would take magic yeah, for you to be able to carry these bones successfully. Again, no enslaved African was allowed to take a bath in the castle. The only time a female slave could take a bath was when any of the white officials were let you rape them. The women go through menstrual cycles, so the blood, the sweat, the urine, the feces. Whoever was going to rape this woman couldn't stand the smell. Therefore, the need to wash this woman down, apply some pomade perfume on the skin, give her some nice clothes to wear, some heavy fitted consume before raping her. When that was done, she wasn't done with. She was brought back to the female slave dungeons to wait for the ships to come. They went to the fed twice a day before their punishment once a day. The food was placed in the and the hole in there, that was where they had to urinate, defecate, and puke. They can go there and have a look. Now before what you're standing is that these people of Dr. Tan. Are you already not going to write it down? Very small bracket. Before he saw the Dr. Tan, because this is what he is about. Yeah, this is one of the female slave dungeons. We got two, the other one behind us. And each of the rooms could also hold about 150 to 200 women. And because some of the women were raped, some were found pregnant here. If they found pregnant here, they took you outside the castle where they built stone houses for you. You'll be taken care of by some English doctors and nurses. After giving birth, they give you some grace period to breastfeed the kid and kind of go well. After that, the kid was taken away from the mama, and the mama brought back here to wait for the next shipment. If you are not fortunate to be found pregnant here, when you're found pregnant on the ship, some were thrown overboard. Mm. The reasons being that you're weak being pregnant, you will slow them down. Pregnant women need extra care. I've never been pregnant, but I know that they are delicate and you treat them with such attention. And nobody was ready for that. Yeah, slaves to the new world could be sold at any point in time, and nobody bought a pregnant slave. They saw no use for you, so the best they could ever do was to get rid of you. Listen, it wasn't that there were no doctors on the ship. There were doctors on the ship. I learned of a doctor by name Alexander Fagonbright, who had to resign being a slave ship doctor after going four times. Because even though he was white, whatever his right brothers, white brothers were doing was seen as demonic, and that he would not be part of such demonic endeavor. For that reason, he had to resign being a slave ship doctor 
into becoming a freedom fighter for the Africans. Excuse me again. Alexander Thaco, Richard. Virginia, Jamestown, Puerto Rico, Brazil, Haiti, Trinidad, Guyana, and the rest. Got to go work on the European sugar cane, tobacco, and coffee plantations. Whatever plantation you go work on, you took after the name of the plantation. Africans, we name children according to the days they were born, alongside the tribe they were born into. I'm a Saturday born, so I am Emma. I'm a fantasy, so my, my local name is Nyame Santun, to meaning God deserves worship. Okay. All those Saturday bonds raising hands with me. Uh, Friday, Friday, Friday. Okay, coffee. Yeah. Yeah, you too. Thursday, yeah, yeah. 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 Wednesday, quite cool. Tuesday, up and up. Uh, Monday, Ajua or Kwajo. Sunday, he's Sunday. So he's Saturday. You're Saturday, Kwame now, or Kwame. And Sunday, Kwesi, you're Kwesi. And Fimo will be Nesi or Akosia. And then we have some traditional names like Ayandeba, Ayambugiri, Nachwe, Ni Ote, Kote. And you won't carry these names in the new world. Have you, has anybody watched The Root? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they show that as a movie. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through a similar door. It's not the same because the original one was so small. We're going to go through it, but we're coming back, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we yes. transfer them to the bigger ships on the deepest part of the ocean. There is another inscription on the door. What does it read? Door of return. That is a promise. This inscription was born in August 1998. Yeah, there was a festival called the Emancipation Day. At that time, two black bones were exhumed from where they were buried. One was taken from New York by name Samuel Casson, the other from Jamaica, Madame Cristo. Yeah, these black bones were brought back to Africa. When they came, they came by a plane, but when they got to Abanzi, which was one of the marketplaces, they came by the sea, the same route, yeah, to this very castle, through the same door to the compound where African traditional funeral was held for these bones. After that, these bones are retained in Ghana, a St. so that was where they were repaired. Yeah, bringing these bones back to Africa symbolized the return of every enslaved African. It was done to say, now we've breached the gap, there is a road freely to Africa and outside Africa. Anybody want to come home? can do so, not by force, but by will. Where we stand is not just any cell, but this is a condemned cell. There are some African slaves, the men, who acted like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were not bowed to the god of slavery. Yeah. So they fought back. Those who were always ready to tussle were brought here to die. But giving nothing to drink, nothing to eat. There's no source of air, no light. We call this room the room of no return because whoever went there alive never came back alive. 
And this is the only original girl left in the castle. The only one left. We're gonna go there, but you watch your head. soldiers who can't find out how many people dead, how many not. If they came in there, some dead, some alive, will not get the dead bodies out. The living stayed here with the dead. Yeah, they locked all the three doors, went back, came back the next day. They had to do that till they found the last person gone. And when that happened, because they couldn't stand the smell, they went for some of the enslaved males Force them to come carry the dead bodies of their own brothers, or carry the dead bodies in their arms, lay the dead bodies in the compound, in the open, assemble the rest of the slaves to say, hey, have a look at what happened to people who traveled in the Kunta Kinte. Mm -hmm. The Nelson Mandela, the Carmen Krumas, and the Luthers. When that was done, these dead bodies were tied to stones and dumped into the sea. So we call the sea the grave of the enslaved Africans. Shaker fabrics in there. We had companies coming from Liverpool, Manchester, Brazil, uh, Bristol, sorry, London. All of them lined up, ready to buy slaves. After buying these people, then they had to brand them. Some of the companies have a tool with the name of the company carved out beneath it. They put that in fire red hot from that upon mine. You will mail your chest, female your back, your arms. There are companies who prefer a portion of the slaves you have cut. And those who are merciful enough will just demand a small chain to put around here for easy identification. And it was after breath that if the males or females were put into their respective dungeons to wait for the ships to come get them. I learned that. Before any slave was bought, many factors were laid on the table. Yeah, there were doctors here who examined them. They checked your sight, your height, your paws, the set of your teeth, your complexion. They even had to consider where you come from because they believed there was some tribe who were more lazy. Others were hard working than the others. I learned that at that time, if you were short, you were considered to be hard working but stubborn. If you were a tall kind of slave, you were seen as submissive, the lazy. Uh, if you're darker than black, you know, we have these Africans who are so black. Yeah, they're considered to be the strongest, so they attract to the highest price. I also learned that if you're from Upper Guinea, they think the Susu tribe, you were considered to be diligent, you 
with a good leg. Whatever the master says is a yes. But if you're from Kalmantin, yeah, that guy, the Kumasa people mixed up, they live along this, this line. Yeah, you were considered to be the most stubborn slaves ever. And so whoever will buy you should be strong enough to deal with you. Some of the slave companies that got involved. We have the likes of Barclays Bank, now absent, and the Bank of England. Yeah, these banks were giving life insurance to the slave companies for losing their slaves either in the, sh in the dungeon or on the ship. And that's why they care less about the treatment given to these Africans, because they knew that if they were able to give reasonable reasons to the banks, they had insurance to claim. Yeah, and also we have Nestle or Nestle Ghana, as well as Unilever. Any questions? Obroni, has anybody called you that yet? And why do you think we call you Obroni? I'm white. Yes, yes. Yeah, I also thought that was the sole reason till I read this book called Home Going by Yadisi. In that book, the author says the word Obroni comes from the local word Alpuro Ni or Alpuro Fu, meaning people who knew what was good but chose evil. Uh, you're wicked, you're spiteful, you're intentional destroyers. Mm. Uh, they're not referring to you per se, but then the predecessors, and now it's extended to all white people. So now it's corrupted to me, white. That's why they call you Obi. 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 Yeah, it comes from the word Obi. Nibri. It's a local word to say that you are somebody, something. Clay's wife was found dead. Yeah, with a bottle of acid in the hand. And looking through this window, there's a stretch of your tentacle that you surrounded by trees. Do we see that tiny stretch? Painted white. And it's called Fort William. The English built that to safeguard the castle. In the daytime, they showed merit to the sun, reflection of light. Nice and way red flag or anything red to signify danger so they know something is going to happen. Let's sell the kids ready to shoot at the end of the shoot. of rape and it's now a public library no longer church yeah i was researching on the number of people who died in the hospital to see how many of them died at home i discovered that on average 500 people die every day in the hospital yeah meaning we have more people dying in the hospital but when we get sick where do we go hospital we are not scared because we know that, yes, one person might have died in the hand of a doctor, another person can have life in the same hand. Yeah, when somebody died. It's the same with the church. We have big churches and people are losing their lives. But people are also 
are being saved through this church. It is up to us to let the Holy Spirit lead us to the right church mm -hmm. to attend. So nobody goes from saying, I'm no longer going to the church. Because nobody ever says, I'm no longer going to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people die in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Come with me. We're here and we end in here. I do that on purpose. If you draw a circle, what do you end? Yeah, this is all spherical. Whatever goes around. So you be careful with the decisions you make today because they'll catch up with you. The Obamas were here in 2009 because Michelle Obama chose her route to this castle. Then we have this final plaque. Unfortunately, our people uh, played a role in the transatlantic slave trade. So in 1992, uh, during the first Panafest, uh, they came to say sorry. The whole chiefs in of Ghana came to say sorry for being so greedy and ignorant that they could exchange human beings for the things they exchanged them for. I need one person to read this for me. One person. I need one. To read? Of the anguish of our ancestors. Oh, in everlasting memory, of the anguish of our ancestors. May those who died rest in peace. May those who return find their roots. May humanity never again perpetrate such injustice against humanity. We, the living, bow to uphold this. Simply read the very profound statement or message. Yes, I don't trust the messengers, but I trust the message. Yeah, the stress phrase is we. The limit. So long as you've got life, this is your duty. It's your responsibility to go home and try that. The world is better than we have now. We may not have the best of world, we understand, but we can have a better world. I know it's so hard to uphold this, especially when we are still in the business of punishing small thieves while electing big ones into public offices. If those things that will continue to suppress us, but it can be done, because if it can be done, then we are done. Let me leave you with this. I listened to a man by name Mark Twain. He said that uh, if you collect 100 black ant, 100 fry ant, and put them in the same jar, nothing will happen. But if somebody takes the jar and shakes it violently, the ants will start killing each other. Black believes that red is the enemy, while red believes that black is the enemy. When the real enemy is the one who shoots the jar. It's the same in our society. We have men versus women. We have young versus old. We have faith versus science. And we have blacks versus white. Before we start killing each other, we should ask ourselves, we shook the jar. Thank you, my sir.